Hey everyone, today we're going to be writing a script with Node.js and PowerShell that logs the amount of RAM our computer is using every second. Let's get started. Okay, to get started I'm going to go into my dev folder and I'm going to make a new directory called my first script. And I'm going to cd into my first script and then I'm going to code it in VS Code. And that'll open a new window for us. Once we're in VS Code, open the terminal. And we're going to run npm init dash y. Dash y will get the default settings for us so we don't have to enter through. Um, you can, of course, enter through yourself and you can write your name for the author and a description of the project. We're going to be using Node.js and PowerShell. Once the package.json is installed, we're going to click on it, go into it, and our main's actually going to run from bin slash index.js and underneath license we're going to have bin don't do that bin and then inside of bin we're going to put get ram used and that's going to be how we call our program from any from anywhere in the terminal and we're going to call it from dot slash bin slash index dot js and save that once that's done we're going to create a new folder call it bin inside of bin we want to have an index dot js folder at the top of the excuse me index dot js file at the top of the index.js file, we want to tell it, hey, this is going to be a script. So we do number sign, exclamation point, slash user, slash bin, that's user without the E, slash bin, slash env, node, not done, node. Make sure to save that file. Below the line that makes it a script, we need the operating system module from node, so const os equals require OS underneath the OS we're going to write a function called main we're going to take nothing in and then we're going to set const total memory equals OS dot total mem and that total mem function or method on the operating system will return the total memory in bytes being used to that new variable we made called total memory excuse me, that will return the total memory of the computer. Then we can do const free mem, free memory, equals os.free mem, and that will return the amount of free memory that the computer has, or the amount of free RAM, to the variable free memory. Next we can do const memory being used equals total memory minus free memory and we should be able to console.log memory being used save that and we need to run the main function and down at the bottom we should be able to type node dot slash bin slash index dot js run it and that'll tell us how many bytes of memory are being used or how many bytes of RAM are being used currently. If we run it again it'll change slightly. Now bytes isn't a common term that people think of or think in but gigabytes are so let's change our bytes to gigabytes and to do that we need to come up here to memory being used. Now if we divide bytes by 1024, that'll get us kilobytes. If we divide it again, that'll get us megabytes. And if we divide it again by 1024, that'll get us gigabytes. Now we need to add the correct parentheses in here to make this work. order of operations, save it, and if we run our script at the bottom, okay, now we have it in gigabytes. 
Now this number still doesn't look great, so let's make it to two decimal places. So memory being used, dot two fixed, two, and let's make this a, oops, not that far, there we go, template literal, and going to add gigabytes on the end so we know it's in gigabytes, GB. Save, run the script at the bottom, and now we have 5.14 gigabytes. And you notice it changes from time to time depending on exactly how much memory the computer is using at the time. Okay, so we have that formatted nicely. Now let's clean this up a little bit in this main function here. This statement right here, I want to make that into its own function. It's just a console.log, but I want to make it look like a readable story. Um, the goal of my code is to make it as readable as possible. So let's make a function called display memory being used. And it's of course going to take in this memory being used. And then we need to write it up here, display memory being used, which takes in memory being used. And then it's very, very obvious what this function is doing. Save it. Now this also is a little crazy. Uh, so we're gonna make this its own function. So cut it out of there. Function calculate memory being used and that's going to take in memory nope that's going to take in total memory and free memory paste it inside of there and we actually want to return that save and up here calculate memory being used and it takes in total memory, free memory. Now just space this out a little bit. And this is, in my opinion, a lot more readable. We have, we get our total memory, we get our free memory. Then we calculate the memory being used, we'll store it in memory being used, and then we display the memory being used. I think that's a very, clear main function everything's very well separated and clear to read and easy to understand now we want to be able to log the amount of memory being used every second so instead of running the main function down here let's do set interval and we want to run that main function we want to run it every 1000 milliseconds which is the same as every second so now if we run the node script at the bottom every second It'll log the amount of RAM being used by the computer in gigabytes, and you'll notice it changes uh, from time to time, depending on exactly what the computer is doing in its processes. And Control-C will get you out of that to stop the script. Now that that's done, the last part we need to do is make this into a script that we can, or into a command that we can run anywhere. Uh, in a terminal command line. So let's see what it's called again, get RAM used. So we want to do npm install globally, and we're just going to put dot, let that install, and then we're going to be able to call get RAM used from anywhere we want, and this program should start running, and that's our script. So let's bring up PowerShell just came up on the other screen and I'm gonna run it from right here uh, this is definitely not in my dev folder which is where I'm at here I am in wherever PowerShell defaults me to so let's run it get RAM used and it should start logging the RAM used by the computer every second or the current amount of RAM being used let's run it one more place to make sure 
let's just go into the C drive and run get RAM used. And there it goes. You're able to run it from anywhere on the computer. That's it. That's our first script. We wrote it in Node.js and PowerShell. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.